Okay, uh, in this session, uh, we're going to uh, discuss uh, about the nodal analysis uh, when there's the presence of uh, a dependent source. But before we really go into the main session, uh, let's uh, try to solve this one. This is the class exercise. Solve node voltages using nodal analysis. But this is the similar example that we did in the previous session. So I will also try to solve uh, myself and then I will try to upload my solution in the video. You can just compare with uh, your solution with mine. Now this is the uh, network that we have. Here we are asked to determine node voltages using nodal analysis. Nodal analysis. Now in this network we have uh, four nodes. Node 1, node 2, node 3, and then we have a reverse node. And along with that, we have current source, the uh, independent current source, and then here we have dependent current source. Now, in, uh, in our beginning of the semester, we have looked into the uh, different types of uh, dependent source. This current source is current control current source. Now, this dependent source is current control, current source. Now this current source is being controlled by two IX. Now two IX here, IX is magnitude of this current. Now this branch current is controlling this current source. Now we're going to solve this. Now the same uh, circuit I have uh, uh, redrawn here, uh, since I'm using a uh, whiteboard in the, in the computer uh, uh, that uh, circuit elements are not coming clear. So this is not inductor, okay? It looks like inductor, but uh, I try to write, I try to draw uh, the resistor. It's coming like this. Now, uh, this is the same circuit that we have here. I have given uh, V1, V2, V3, and V0. This V0 is our reference voltage. Now, this is the first step that we have in the nodal analysis. First step, it says that we have to assign a reference node and we have to give the, uh, or we have to give, or we have to assign the node names or the node numbers. In our case, I am giving V1, V2, or V3. Now, second step is we have to apply the Kirchhoff's current law in each node. As I said, the number of node equation will be one less than the total number of nodes in that network. So, in our case, we're going to have three node equations. Now, uh, in the second step, I'm applying the uh, Kirchhoff's current law. The node V1, here we have 3 ampere current is entering, and then uh, I1 and I2 are moving away from node V1. So 3 is equal to this current plus this current. Let's name this as equation 1. And um, for the node 2, again we have 3 branches. Ix is coming in entering into this node and uh, i2 and i3 are moving away from the node v2 so your ix is equal to i2 plus i3 and again uh, let's name this equation 2 and for the node 3 here we have a dependent uh, current source is moving away from this node whereas i1 and i3 is entering into this node v3 so we have uh, I1 plus I3 is equal to 2 Ix. Now, okay, let's also name this as equation 3. Now, we got three equations. Now, once we got three equations, we have to apply the Ohm's law. Now, we are applying uh, Ohm's law. Now, we can determine the current I1. Uh, this current I1 is flowing from uh, higher potential to lower potential. We are assuming like this V1 to V3, which means V1 minus V3 divided by 4. And similarly, you can also determine I2. Now, here I'm skipping the steps V2 minus V0, which is equal to 0. So you can directly write V2 divided by 4. And then similarly to I3 and Ix. Now, let's name this uh, the Ohm's law. This one as the fourth equation. Now, once we got the fourth equation, we have to substitute that one in our node equation in the form of current. 
we are substituting equation four in equation one, two, and three, and then we got the final equation as like this. And now this three v one minus two v two minus v t is equal to twelve. So we are naming this equation as equation a, b, and c. Now this equation a we obtain it from note one. This equation b we obtain from equation. Uh, this equation b we obtain from note two, and then uh, this equation we obtain it from node 3. Now, if you solve the, this uh, three equation, equation A, B, and uh, C, if we solve equation uh, A, B, and C, we'll get V1 is equal to mm, 4.84, V2 is equal to 2.4 volt, and then V3 is equal to minus of 2.4 volt. Now we got the we got the node equations. We got V1, V2, and V3. Similarly, we can once we have this node uh, node voltages, we can determine Ix. Now to determine the Ix. Is V1 minus V2. V1 is how much? It's 4.8. And then V2 is 2.4. So your equation, like current Ix is equal to 4, 4.8 minus 2.4 divided by 2. Divided by 2. If you divide like this, you will get 1.2 1. 1. Ampere, I think it's correct, no? 4.8 minus 2.4 divided by 2. Four point eight minus 2.4 divided by 2, okay, 1.2 Ampere. And then uh, similarly, uh, you can also calculate for I1, I2, I3. I3, okay, and then also, also calculate the branch voltages. So if you have uh, if you have any uh, doubt regarding this, so you can try to drop a uh, message in our WhatsApp group, or you can try to contact any enemies. <clears throat>